Good morning, everybody. I want to quickly tell you about the Zurb Foundation, if you haven't seen it already. It is an amazing framework for being able to rapidly develop for multiple platforms. So if you want to do desktop or tablets or mobile, you actually have one set of frameworks that will allow you to do that. Now, obviously, you can code it all by hand if, if that's what you're used to doing. And, and again, I think we've all done that. But if you want to have something that's a little bit faster, you don't want to have to go through all that and just do maybe do a little bit of tweaking. I think foundation is 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 great. These Zerb really deserves a ton of credit for doing the things they did with this. It's a, it's an amazing thing. Uh, so what is Zerb? All right. Well, as you can see here, uh, they have their documentation. Excuse me. They have their uh, some pictures here of their various places you can go. And again, if you go to look up Zerb foundations. Uh, there, it's funny, they're already at 2.0 and I downloaded the first version just last week. Um, but they're already there with the second version. It, it's really great. It, again, it allows you to kind of stack things up based on columns. Let me bring up InDesign right quick so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Basic idea behind Zurb is a whole page is 12 columns. And simply by saying if you want the item to be 12 columns or... For instance, if you want it to be uh, four columns, it will simply stack those things up according to to what you call it, or excuse me, to to, to the to the row that you put in. Um, and again, the beautiful thing about this is once things begin to grow and grow and shrink, obviously the the max is 12 all the way across, but once these shrink up, the thing that's 12 columns will obviously stay the full width then these items that for instance in these cases here they'll begin to stack on top of each other when you when you do a mobile um, they give you uh, links to a site that they did for um, a group for adoption and what I actually basically did is I pulled down their site pulled down their source code I looked at it I uh, ripped out some things and I kind of looked around and start poking and making some changes with it so I can see uh, how to work it and it really works very well doing some random pictures in here you can see I even left their base information here because I was just kind of messing around and obviously this one here is 12 columns these ones are your excuse me your, your 12 rows or your your three rows and as you start to shrink it up see it's thing up oh, and here it goes to start stacking up so when I'm get down to my mobile site or mobile width now again it still full full width here because it's 12 and it stack these items here and it's really simple to do it again the buttons changed from being typical uh, horizontal uh, nav to more like a mobile nav where you would see them stacked here and that was as simple as saying, you know, show this on phone, show this on desktop. And it puts them in there for you and, and makes the changes for you. The other nice thing really about it is there's also some other items that come along with it. There's a plugin called Reveal and there's a plugin called Orbit. Reveal is a modal. Uh, I have a modal example in here. And again, extremely simple. As soon as you put it in, it just well puts in your modal. It's really simple to use. Um, it's regular, just straight HTML. You just have to call it a, a reveal modal. Let's uh, look at the. Sorry, let's grab the source code right quick. And as soon as you say, "Hey, I want this to be a modal," it will. There we go. There you go. Simple ID rev uh, modal reveal. And then you just make your modal in regular semantic HTML markup. It's 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 beautiful and wonderful. The other thing that you can do with it is Orbit. Orbit is basically a slider. And again, I actually found that you can mess around and combine the two things together. So I put a slider inside. I put a Orbit slider inside their mobile uh, instead of the in, inside of the reveal modal. So I mean, it's it's great. It's really simple. Um, give it a try and if you have any questions send me an email and I'll see what I can do to help but the documentation is great it's very easy to use uh, check it out you'll love it alright have a good day bye